Photon universes. Point. There are two universes. The first and largest one is all photons. The other is a subset universe that we exist in. It is photons altered by space, time, and to matter. The photon universe contains photons, has no mass, is outside of space time, is outside of distance and time, and thus eternal with no start or end. The subset universe contains all matter. The singularity of photons in a big bang created all matter through pair conversion. Photons created mass through pair conversion. This second universe is a subset of the photon universe where photons are altered into matter by space-time. Two arguments. The easy argument. Most are familiar with Einstein's equation E equal mc squared. This shows that energy can be converted to matter and matter can be converted to energy. So if we converted all the matter in this subset universe to energy, then we would have a universe of photons, all energy. The special relativity argument. Special relativity by Einstein again suggests that everything goes the speed of light. Look at the subset universe that contains matter. The combined speed of any object's motion through space and through time combined is always precisely equal to the speed of light. Motion and time are inversely proportional. That means that the less time a particle travels the distance, the more motion it will have. The more time a particle travels the distance, the less motion it will have. So everything that has motion moves at the speed of light. Therefore, we can say everything in both universes is going the speed of light. They do this either as photons in the big, original, all-photon universe, or as photons altered to matter in space and time in a second universe, the subset universe that we exist in. Therefore, there are two universes. The photon universe, the universe of the eternal photons outside of space and time. This is the singularity that existed before the Big Bang. The subset matter universe a universe that is a subset of the photon universe that through photon conversions created matter and exists in space-time.